Once you understand how you can create no matching routes in your React application, let me show you how you can access the parameter value so you can access your data from the database. So let's suppose that you have this data from your backend and you have this invoice number inside your URL. What you have to do is you have to access this invoice parameter number and display the invoice information inside your application. Let me show you how you can do that. Inside your application, I'm going to create a new component inside this components folder. I'm going to name this component bills.js. That's upon you. You can specify any name to this component. Here I'm going to say export default. And the name of this function is bills. After that, here I'm going to return h1 heading tag and say, oops, I think I misspelled here default. It's a type of function. Here I'm going to add h1 heading tag and say, invoice and then specify here hash and specify the invoice number so let's suppose that i want to display my invoice number right here let me save this file back to the invoice now what i want i would like to render the invoice number instead of this one two three normally in the react we would pass this number as a property but as you know you don't control this information because it comes from the url so let's define a route that will match this kind of URLs and then enable us to get the invoice number from it. Save this file and back to the index.js. Right here, what I'm going to do is, as you know, we have this invoices route. I'm going to just add another route inside these invoices. So let me first close this route, something like this. And inside this invoices route, I'm going to create another route. So I'm going to say here route and then specify here. Now, as you know, I don't know the number of the invoices. So what I can do is I can simply create here a variable. To create a variable, we need to start with colon and then specify here invoice ID. Now, this is a variable and this variable is going to get the value from the parameter. Just for now, I'm going to specify this variable. That's upon you. You can specify any name to this variable. Then you specify the element. Here inside this element, as you know, we have this bills component. So let me just print that bills component. So inside this index, right up here, I'm going to say import bills from the component bills. And I'm going to print this component right inside this element, something like this. Now you can notice this invoice path is the URL parameter, meaning it can match any value as long as the parameter is the same. So this path is only going to match when there is a number inside this invoices. And you can notice we put this route inside this invoices route. So this is going to add a second layer of route nesting when it matches because it's a child route. Now let me click on this invoices and show you the result. So let's suppose if I click on this link, note that the URL changes, but the new invoice component doesn't show up yet. This is because we need to add an outlet in the parent component so inside this invoices at the top right here we need to first import outlet copy this component and at the end just before this closing main right here i'm going to call this outlet let me save the changes you can see at the end you have the invoice number so whenever you change your link it's going to display your bills number you can notice right now it's displayed the default number this is because inside your bills, we have this hard coded value. What I want, I want to get this URL parameter right inside these bills and display the invoice number inside this application. So what I want, I want to get the parameter value in the component. So let me just get the parameter using a function called use params. So inside your child bills component right here, we specify import in the object. I'm going to say use params and you get this function from react router dom and this is a type of hook so you call that hook inside a component so we specify here let params is equal to and you call that use params hook something like this and this hook is read only so you're just going to access the value of the parameter now just out of that if i console.log this params let me save the changes open the console then you can notice if I reload the browser, I'm going to have here a property called invoices. And we have here 200 because the parameter value is 200. Now you can notice we created this invoice ID variable 
when we created this row. So if you back to the index.js, then you can notice we created this invoice ID variable when we created this bills route. Now, if you want to change this invoice ID variable, then you can do that as well. So let's suppose if I say ID number, if I save the changes, you can see this is going to change the property name invoice ID number. And we have this value to this property. So that's about you. You can specify any name to this variable. For this example, I'm using invoice ID. I'm going to access this invoice ID inside these bills using this property invoice ID. So let me just pass here dot and say invoice ID. Let me save this. I can easily access this value, this parameter value. So what I can do is I can grab this variable and then get it off this statement right from here. And then here I can pass curly braces and say parameter invoice, something like this. Save the changes, close this console. And now when I click on these links, you can see I can get the invoice number very easily.